Football fans from around the country gathered recently in Atlanta to help celebrate the grand opening of the National Football Hall of Fame. This new museum welcomed its first ticket holders just in time for football season. Atlanta's Mayor Reed was joined by College Football Hall of Fame President and CEO John Stevenson, National Football Foundation President and CEO Steve Hatchell, along with College Football Hall of Fame Chairman of the Board Steve Robinson and an impressive group of Hall of Fame. I would submit that on the heels of the National Center for Civil and Human Rights, which opened just last month, this is a great next step in the progression of Atlanta and the resurgence of this Centennial Olympic Park District. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Honorable Mayor Kasim Reed. All right. Now he won't say it, but I want everybody to give a big round of applause for John Stevenson and Steve Robinson. They brought this project home, Atlanta. In just a few minutes, we're all going inside. We're 700 and 767 schools, representing 70,000 athletes are represented in that hall. Welcome to Biovet TV. Today, we're gonna to start out by talking to the founders of Biovet. Jan Hermstead is going to talk to Greg Rush, and I'll join you with Jimmy Allman. Hello, I am Jan Hermstad uh, here at location at biovet.net. Two of Atlanta's exciting new efforts drawing worldwide attention have now been joined for easier public access. Atlanta's historic Fort Ward Park and Beltline Trail are now connected by the East Side Trail Gateway, an ADA accessible path. The East Side Trail officially opened on August 22nd in a ribbon cutting ceremony led by Mayor Kasim Reed. The Atlanta Beltline for the great work that they've done with this project and that they do every single day bringing it in uh, on time and under budget. On time and under budget. Maynard Jackson. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris at Biovet.net in Atlanta, Georgia. I want to thank you for checking out our website. I'm going to show you that Corvette you're interested in in just a moment, but I want to tell you a little bit about Biovet.net. Biovet.net is a Southeast premier pre-owned Corvette superstore. We are located one mile south of Spaghetti Junction on I-85 underneath the 71 yellow Corvette. We've been fulfilling Corvette dreams in Atlanta, across the country, and around the world for 22 years. Welcome to the Biovet Minute. Our attempt to inform everybody about the wonderful Corvettes that we have here at Biovet and the ones you may be looking at. Today I have with me Greg Rush, the owner and founder of Biovet, and we're going to talk about fuel injection engines. So without further ado, I turn it over to Professor Dobbins. Thank you, Council Member Archibong. Uh, we're really happy to be here tonight. We're really happy that you all have come to hear what we have found now three and a half months into our studio project. I think it's important to point out that these students don't just take my course, they take three or four other courses. So this three and a half months of effort that they put in, I think, has been really outstanding. The support we've gotten from Council Member and Council Member Smith and, and the uh, city's Department of Planning has been very helpful. We've also worked with the Atlanta Regional Commission, Georgia DOT, DeKalb County, MARTA, uh, all of the agencies uh, involved in the Memorial Drive Corridor. Uh, we believe... <laughs> we believe so strongly in this project, and I can't wait to see. I mean, we're 20% or 25% done. I can't wait to see it completed. And one day when we have a, a transportation component, it will be fabulous. Our son lives on the Beltline just down the, just down the trail here and runs out almost every day. 